Hello, hello there and welcome back to War Thunder 2 Napalm's newest news and today we have a very interesting death block that has two main parts. The first one is the MiG-23 M2 which will come later but first the rank 7 announcement for aviation which was kind of already um, hinted with the event advent of rank 6 premiums getting sold. Um, first of all those premiums please do not pre-order them before you haven't at least seen their performance on the dev server and you have seen some predictions by YouTubers that do um, RRB or in general aircraft as their main theme on their YouTube channels. Mostly those people are relatively reliable and then we all even then we are not safe from Gaijin changing something from the dev server to the live server and everything is subject to change so nobody's safe especially a wallet. With that uh, out of the way, rank 7. So rank 7 is now the top rank and so we have an equalization with the tanks. And mentioning tanks here for both, at this very moment the top battle rating for tanks and aircraft is 10.7. Here we also see the expanding of the battle ratings to 11 for aircraft. Is this all also hinting a new top battle rating for tanks? We will see, I hope so. However, um, let me just quickly add this. Going from 10.7, which represents over compression throughout the game for aircraft, tanks, and if you name it also helicopters and ships, um, although with a few different battle rating settings, this barely counters the new compression coming in with this patch. Gaijin effectively makes it worse and doesn't give us the solution. I guarantee you people will celebrate this and then when they see what's actually happening, um, yeah, the, the, re the shock of reality in the game then will hit hard home again. Now also a lot of aircraft that are currently at rank 6 are going to rank 7, which makes then rank 5 premiums rather obsolete with the research penalty forced upon them and so if you are in the striking distance of researching any of those mentioned aircraft, again the link to the dev blog is in the video description down below for you to look through all those aircraft for yourself. Worth mentioning here is also um, that the F4F Germany, the F4F early for Germany uh, will get moved to rank 7 which makes it purely for that reason a viable talisman candidate and you can get it already for a horrendous price on the marketplace and i think that even this announcement here will drive its marketplace price to absurd heights right even though technically speaking without this not too much is announced for rank 7 maybe the uh, f104t if i'm not mistaken well we'll see and let's move on to then finally the mig 23m so rank 7 and it will be the best maximum speed in the game depending on the altitude it has a thermal target finder which will be really interesting to see how that will work it has the long range r23t missiles depending on how reliably gaijin implements this into the game and depending on the map sizes you know if you can shoot this from airfield to airfield the memes perfect then also the cons states here limited number of weapon suspension points the reason for this is because you have here folding wings we already have a soviet aircraft in the game that can do this but this one here is a pure fighter and uh, may i first uh, say that this plane looks gorgeous I give it that. It looks really modern, it looks gorgeous, it looks nasty, it looks aggressive. You can see already various different uh, rocket missiles and bomb loadouts. It will be really cool. Now this seems to be a tech tree uh, plane, unsurprisingly. And here you can again read all the details for yourself, just like the top speed, Mach 2.4 and the uh, the power plant and yeah, various different other bomb load options. A lot of you are really excited about this, I can understand. Uh, here you can see the wing comparison um, folded back and folded forward for I guess low speed turning etc. Um, the weapon loadouts and uh, then the gun will be the GSH-25 
23L twin auto cannon with 200 rounds. Um, if I'm not mistaken, and correct me if I'm wrong, that's not a lot of ammo. The rate of fire will be relatively high, but the shells are best described as being rather lazy, low mass velocity, and so stock running with this alone will be quite a challenge, right? And top tier, we all know it, will be really expensive. I expect 400,000 plus RP for this, and then also, you know, a nice quick million plus civil lines to only get the aircraft, you know, to buy it, expert qualification, the tryhards will also dump a lot of golden needles on it for the modules and the ace qualification and upgrading the crew. So again, a lot of gold shower for Gaijin. And um, yeah, here is also an interesting comparison to the Phantom 3. Yeah, one of the reasons why the amount of hard points um, are limited as you can see here, is because of it needs to be mounted on the fuselage since the folding wings don't have the carrying capacity as far as I can understand it. Um, so in short, um, new king for the Soviets, um, a worthy opponent for the Phantom 2 series. Um, there will be a lot of uh, shift in terms of ranks, um, but are there also then some further battle rating adjustments? We will see and how this will then reflect the compression in the game, how the gameplay experience will be. There are so many questions, there are so many factors that are changing. Um, long range missiles, the new technology, it will be really, really challenging to find this out just a day or so after the patch will launch. And I guess there will be a lot of work to do on the dev server when the dev server comes out. When the dev server will hit, I have no idea, but I give you here the tip, keep your death server launcher always updated. Before you go into uh, War Thunder um, every day from now on for the next few weeks, if you are really uh, looking for experiencing this thing on the death server, then please uh, check out if there is a new patch for the death server. That doesn't mean that the death server is then immediately open, but it gets a hint on in which direction this gets. Anyway, I hope this comparatively short video of mine was interesting for you. Uh, if so, you know, why not hit the like button and give this uh, video uh, or give the channel a subscription, share this with your friends, and as usual, we'll see each other on the waves, on the battlefields, and in the skies of War Thunder.